Hi. Most of you have probably heard there's going to be some changes coming to the mortgage industry in January of 2014. A lot of people are talking about, this is Armageddon. However, if you take a closer look, you'll see that these changes really should have no big deal. I'd like to spotlight three specific changes, and this should help us sift through some of the noise that's out there that should have, if any, effect on your business in 2014. The first one is the lenders must verify that borrower's ability to repay the loan. This rule is a little bit late to the party, in my opinion. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, or the CFPB, outlines eight modes of repayment that they want us to verify. Well, currently, on most loans, we verify about 15. This was passed as part of the Dodd-Frank legislation back in 2008, when the whole industry was kind of rebuilding. The one thing is, is it didn't go into effect into law until January of 2014, yet we and most banks have been qualifying people based on repayment like this for a few years now. The second one is the minimum debt to income ratio. It's dropping from 45% to 43%. Well, the one thing that a lot of people aren't talking about is it only applies to non-agency loans. Now, what does that exclude? Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, FHA, USDA. The only thing that it will affect is jumbo loans, which are non-agency. Now, most banks have been qualifying people at 43% income ratio for a while, so it really shouldn't have any impact on that end of it. As far as Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, they're currently excluded from the QM or the qualified mortgages for up to seven years. Now, if they decide to adopt this, could it have some impact? Sure, but a 2% difference in the income ratios really should have minimal impact on qualifying people. If FHA adopts it, that could be a little bit of a problem because we currently qualify most first-time home buyers up to 50% of their income ratio. So that's something we need to take a look at and kind of keep it in mind. And as news develops, I'll pass the information along. The third thing would be the HUD or the settlement statement that everybody signs at closing. Now currently it's four pages long and they want to change it to seven pages long. Why? They want to make it a little bit more consumer friendly. Like most things, only time will tell. If you have any other questions or you'd like to reach out to me, please contact me. My name is Mike Gendro. My phone number is 603-890-2232. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.